Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find binomial probabilities using class calc, which is a free online graphing calculator. So the nice thing is that it is free, but it will help you to be able to find binomial probabilities very easily. Okay, remember that a binomial probability is an event where you have a fixed number of trials. So that means that you have a certain set amount of times that the experiment is repeated. The probability of success has to remain constant through the entire trial, so it doesn't change from one time to the next, which means that the probabilities are independent of each other. You can count the number of successes that you had in that trial, and each trial can be classified as either a success or a failure. So the example that I have for you is a die is rolled 10 times, find the probability of the following events. This is a fixed number of trials because we're saying that we rolled the die 10 times. So n is the number of trials that you have. The probability of success is how likely it is to get that each time. For all of these examples, I'm using rolling a five on the number cube. So when I roll the die, I want a five is a success. Anything else is a failure. So the probability of success is one sixth. And the probability of failure is always one minus P. So that would be five sixths. So I have a one sixth chance of success and I have a five out of six chance of a failure. So there's a couple there's actually a lot of different scenarios that can happen with this. So the first one that we have is we are looking for the probability that X is exactly three. So I rolled the die 10 times and I have exactly three fives that I counted. So I wrote down all of my events and I want to know what is the probability that exactly three were a five. Okay. Um, so that's where the calculator comes in handy. Anytime it says exactly, you're going to use binome PDF. If you are finding the sum of several things, then you are going to use binome CDF. So for this one, we're going to use binome PDF. So let me grab the calculator. So again, this is just classcalc.com, and this is the graphing calculator. So you want to make sure that you choose the graphing option on classcalc.com. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is we need to pull up our menu down here and we want to go to statistics and the distributions. So we are dealing with a binomial distribution. And so what it's going to ask for is N and P. So in my binomial distribution, I have 10 is my trials. And for P, I would just type in 1 sixth. Okay. Over here, it actually displays the distribution. So if you needed the probability distribution function and you had to fill in all the values, it tells you the probability of getting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 is over here. Okay, so if you were having to write these out, like you could actually write out a probability distribution because these are each of the values that you have along with the probability of them happening. Notice that at seven, eight, and nine, all of these are rounded to three decimal places. So if you had to round to three decimal places, they all round to zero. Okay, um, so I could just use this and see that I wanted to know what's the probability of exactly three, and it gives me 0.155. If you need more decimal places, all you have to do is select PDF, and it will ask you to plug in the number. So I can plug in three, and it gives me 0 0.1550, and so that's to four decimal places. So we'll say that this is approximately 0.15. Five zero. So there's approximately a 15.5% chance that you will get exactly three fives. This is what you would expect to happen. So if it asks you if it's unusual, unusual is if any of the probabilities are less than 0 0.05. So if you end up with something that's less than 0 0.05, you wouldn't expect it to happen. So this is something we would expect to happen. All right, so for the rest of these, we're going to use binome CDF because we're going to be adding up all of the probabilities. Okay, so when it says probability of rolling at least two, that means it's greater than or equal to two. So that means that I'm going to start at two, two is included, and I'm going to add until I get to 10. 
So I would go back to my calculator and this time I'm going to choose CDF. Okay. And it says I want it to be from two all the way to the end, which is 10. If you don't put in the last number, it will automatically go to the last number. Um, so 0.5155 would be our answer here. So we have approximately a 51.55% probability of rolling at least two fives on our die when we rolled it 10 times. All right, so moving into the next one, we want to know what is the probability of rolling less than five, five. So we want less than five. So less than does not include five. So if you notice on this, it does include the value. So less than five, we would go to our lowest value, which is zero. You can always have zero. And our highest value that we want to include is actually four because we want it to be less than five. So we're talking about these four right here. So you could have also just added the probability of zero plus the probability of one plus the probability of two, three, and four. So I could add all these values. That's what the CDF is doing is it's adding all of the values from zero to four. So we have a 0.9845% probability of that happening, which means that this is extremely likely to happen. It is very likely that you will have less than five fives because you almost have a 100% probability of that happening. All right, couple more situations. I know that there's, but there's a lot of different situations that can happen. All right, so on this one, we wanna know what is the probability of rolling at most three? At most means less than or equal to. So the highest that I can have is three. So this includes the three where the last one did not include the five. So that's why we put the four. Okay. This one includes the three. So we're going to pretty much do the same thing on this one, except for that we are going to change this four to a three. And we can see that there's a 0 0.9303 probability of rolling at most three fives when I roll the die 10 times. A couple more. Um, the probability of rolling more than one, so this is x is greater than one, we would start, since it has to be more than, it does not include one, so that means that it can be two through ten. So we would start here and we would put two, and then we would change our three to a ten, okay, and so we end up with a 0.5155 chance. Okay, because this is more than one, it's the same thing as the greater than or equal to two. So more than one is the same thing as greater than or equal to two. So we end up with approximately 0.5155. So you need to ask yourself, does it include this value or not? If it's greater than it does not, so we have to go to the next number above it. Um, if it does include it, then you include that in your value. And so the last one that we have is it says, what's the probability of rolling between two and five inclusive. So inclusive means that it includes both the two and five. If it said exclusive or the inclusive was not included, then you really can only roll a three or a four and you would not include the two and the five. Okay, so for this one, all we would have to do is change this to two and five. And we can see that it's a 0 0.530 probability. of rolling between two and five um, fives when we roll a die 10 times. Hopefully this video helped you to be able to find all of the different situations that can happen. Just be careful to ask yourself, does it include that value or not? If it includes the value, then you would put it into the, um, to the area, you would insert it in. If not, you would make sure that you go one less or one more depending upon what it is. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.